How you doing, B. Smith? I'm good. How are you? Introduce yourself. All right. I'm Brandon Smith. I'm a junior here at Keystone College. I'm a DB on the football team. And my major, I said my major, sports and rec management. All right. We're going to ask you some questions. If you don't mind. We got you. Um, I'm going to start first. So as the season is officially over, what is something you can take out of it? I can take out growth and development. So me coming in, this was my, I played my freshman year, but it wasn't a true season. And that year I played corner. And all my life I played corner. So going into this season, last spring, I had a chance to practice that safety, but it was like a few chances. I really played corner last spring. So coming into the season, I got switched to a safety. And it's very different from playing corner and safety. Corners, you, you can shut down one side of the field. Safety, you gotta be able to run sideline to sideline. And honestly, I wasn't used to that. So I feel like that's my my biggest like thing I can take away from the season. All right, cool. So uh, before the snap, what do you think about? I just, before the snap, I just read my keys. So every play you have keys where you gotta be, who's your key. So say we in like a cover three and I'm coming down, my key is number one and, and man on the line of scrimmage because I know I gotta drop between them. But my eyes at quarterback because it's not a man coverage, it's like a, it's a zone. So that's my key. That's what my eyes on. I just read my keys. So how are you looking to improve for this upcoming season? Just get stronger. So me, honestly, I want to, I feel like my freshman year, I was playing at 165. So I wanted to get bigger because tackling was, it hurt me more than I feel like it hurt other people. So I got bigger, but I feel like I was more comfortable playing at 165 to 170 range. So that's my biggest thing. I wanted to lose a couple pounds, get back to that range, and just like get better at being a safety. Like as an athlete, being a corner, you could, that's one of the hardest positions. But being a safety, you got to be able to know corner and be able to do what a safety does. So that's one of my biggest things. All right. So as being like a safety slash DB, what was your favorite defensive play? Defensive play? I, I can draw it up. I don't know if the camera will be able to see it. It's... It will be, so this is the offense, QB, I give a receiver, and then a three receiver. My favorite would be, it's our match concept, our cover nine. So we have our uh, corner, we say that's the field corner, the free, the rover, the mic is on this side, the wheel, Sam, Buck. And then you have your boundary corner on this side. We not going to do the D line, but they normally in a, like a four zero four. All right, so it depends on the route concept. Basically, he's responsible since he's coming down. He's matching two. We call that match two. And this match three. So it's a two three two. So two three. And one of these guys are going, so it'll be off of that. So if we send him, now it's a 3 2, 2 3 2, right there. He had to push out. That's three right there. He had to push out off the running back. He had the back. He had the number three. He had him two. The number two will vert. He got wall him 10 to 12 yards because he's going to have a free safety in the middle. But if number two don't go vert and number three go vert, then it's. Buck got to match him 15 to 17 yards and then sit because you still got a little third. So that would be one of my favorite plays. All right, so how would you describe Keystone football from going from the first season 2019 till now? How would I describe it? Yeah. Is there any, like, improvements, any uh, disadvantages? It's definitely improvements. The only thing that how I would um, describe it was is a journey. So I can tell from my freshman year, as a de on the defense, we do a lot of stuff now that we didn't do my freshman year. Like we ran like a, for example, we ran like a lot of short this year at the, like the end of the year. My our freshman year, my freshman year, we ran short, but it was like it was different. We played it different. So the hardest thing is like every year things might change, but like in the play call because you gotta be different every year. And I can see from my freshman year, the way we play short corners, instead of stepping up field, they step towards the offense. 
instead of stepping back, like taking pedals. And it's just, it's been a journey. That's basically all I can say. So what do you believe is going to be the greatest challenge for this upcoming season? Everybody working together. That's always the biggest challenge, simply because you gotta have 100 minds that think alike, basically. Mm -hmm. And it's always gonna be hard for everybody to get on the same page as defense. It's always gonna be hard for all 11 guys to do their job and clip. But that's what practice is for, spring ball is for. So that's what I feel like the biggest challenge would be. So, coming into the new season, who are you more excited to play? Uh, it's tough. I'm excited to play the Wilkes simply because my freshman year they beat us and they beat us this past season. But uh, I forgot if it was Anna Marie, Maria, or Dean, the one, the rain gang that we lost by I think field goal or something like that. I think it was Dean. Dean, yeah. So I'm excited for that game, simply because I feel like we had them, but we we got out a little slow. Uh, in the recruiting process right process right now, is there any position group that you think should bring in more players? So, what I know so far, I don't know a lot because that's a coaching thing more um more or less. But I know we we do need more DBs for sure. Uh, it's always good to have DBs for anything. More packages, you get more speed on the field with different types of packages. Uh, another position I feel like we need more of is maybe offensive line, simply because one go down, you gotta be able to bounce back. And if you don't have enough O linemen to go down, then it's gonna be hard, challenging. So a little more personal here. How do you manage your football responsibilities and your college responsibilities as a student athlete? Uh, so, me, I feel like I have a lot of time, personally. Uh, when I'm not doing classwork, when I'm not in class, I'm focused on football, honestly. Because I feel like if you want to be the best, you have to always study. Like me, honestly, like in high school, people call me a football junkie mm -hmm. because I watch film all the time. Like I'm always in the coach's office writing down different things. I'm just learning stuff. Like I can honestly say I'm probably one of the only DBs that know some of the D-line stuff and most of the line, what linebackers do, does. So that's one thing I, I try to, I try not to spend too much time on football, but it's just hard because I love football. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's pretty easy. Do your work early, get it out of the way, don't worry about it. So as being recruited in 2019, how did it feel to have a full season this year? Honestly, it was different. And it was first five, six games, I was good. But then you start getting to the back end of the schedule. It started getting cold. You don't want to practice no more. The Knicks, I, my finger still hurt from the season. So that's just, it's just, it was different. It was challenging because, of course, my freshman year, we only played seven games. And our last game was in Virginia, and it was hot out there. Seven games here, you out here in the cool, it's raining. And that's one thing I really hate. It rained a lot during our practices. So, yeah, it was challenging. Uh, so, since 2019, was it hard to adjust with all the coaching changes? I'll say, honestly, for me, no. But I can say for other people, it's been a challenge. Simply be, like, it wasn't hard for me simply because I knew the defense already for the most part. So coaches change is like, it wouldn't affect me because I already know what's going on. I know Coach Higgins runs the defense, so I know what's going on. But with the new coach coming in, and I feel like sometimes I might know more than them, it, and they still catching up, I feel like I can help them. And also, like, they can teach me different drills that maybe I never saw before, but I can also help them. Like, we're going through that right now with Coach Cole, might be with the DBs or linebackers. Uh, and basically, like, I just be helping him with different things, like, because he's been with the D-line, so. So what would you do if you saw another player struggling to learn a new play or a new scheme? Oh, we, we doing that now. <laughs> <laughs> we struggling now. And I can say, honestly, I tell the DBs, because simply I'm a DB, so I tell them all the time, if y'all need help, text me. I'm available. You can watch film. 
So if I feel like somebody's on the field, not learning it, and it be at practice, I put them to the side when they done their reps. You got to do this, do this, do that. And is I feel like it's always good to have different eyes because film doesn't lie. And when you're on the field, like, I feel like when you're on the field, you see things differently. So you might do a different type of technique that you wasn't supposed to do, but you felt like you had to. But if you explain that, then it's like a it's like an okay type of thing. But if you just not getting in, you're not in the right places, you might get somebody on your team hurt. Like, so I feel like I pride myself on helping others simply because like you not being in the right position can give up six points. Mm -hmm. All right, Brandon, thank you for your time. <laughs> no problem.